Jamie here. We're getting some outdoors. Sorry I hadn't posted in a while. I've been busy. Which I posted last week. I, as y'all seen, I took a friend of mine camping that hadn't never done no night fishing or noodling or anything like that. I showed him the ropes on that. But uh, the week before that, I wasn't able to post. Been busy with work. And I have been planning a multi day, multi person kayak trip for Labor Day weekend. I have eight people going on this trip and we're going to be gone for friday night saturday sunday and half of monday so i'm i'm the one that's been doing all the planning and i've been keeping in contact with them we had a video call to let everybody so everybody can fo can so everybody can focus on where we're meeting at where we're going and all that so they can plan on their end but in this video i'm going to show you a little sneak peek of how I plan for a multi-day, multi-purpose, multi-day, multi-person kayaking trip. First off, let's get into it. I have made a list of everything that's in my bag, my food. I made a list of what I need to go get. And I have also laid everything out. Ace. Ace. Ace is wanting to play. Ace is wanting to play. But I have laid everything out, my bag. This is some food that I had left over from the other weekend that I posted last week. But my hammock, my sleeping bag, my fuel, my, my cook kit, my water, my bug spray, first aid kit, frog toss, my dry box. This hatchet right here, I like it because it, it's, a, it's a bow saw as well. You take it and you can connect the blade to there and here and it's so it's a bow saw so got that you know for hygiene i got my dew wipes love my dew wipes which i keep toilet paper with me too my toothpaste toothbrush i got my fire starters uh, i take those because it's supposed to rain this week a little bit of rain i got along with my bug spray i got my thermocell got my refills for it i got my Bridge line lights, got my pillow, got my steaks, I got my sugar for my coffee. Extra cordage. I'm big on extra, extra cordage. Oh yeah. I got my compass right there. And I got my tree strap. What which y'all see my, my my bag hanging on a tree or something. It's uh it's held up with this little dude with a figure nine caravan. Ace is trying to bite me. Ace is trying to bite me. But that's just a little sneak peek of how I lay my gear out. And uh, like I said, I got some, I got some more footage of me going to check the river out and the video conference. I'm gonna put that on here. Y'all stay tuned and watch it. I'll catch y'all back in a minute. Bridge. River looks like it's up. That's gonna be a good thing. Yeah, I seen that when we went down to that wildlife management area. It's up. Hope it stays that way for five days. We'll be great. It's moving pretty good. Moving real good. 
You gonna go swimming? <laughs> sure. Well, this is it, everybody. This is where we'll be coming next Saturday morning. That's how I'm going. It's moving, man. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Where's the stick at? Throw it in there to show. <laughs> Tell everybody how swift it's moving right now, but watch. We get down there, get down here next weekend. Yeah. That's something we're going to ain't going to be. Watch it be like dropped on 20 feet. I ain't gonna throw a rag or somebody's old shirt or something. I don't wanna throw no bottle in there. Let's find a stick. This right here ought to float. It looks like it's dried out pretty good. Be my luck if some gun right here. It's gonna sink. If it sinks, it's Goose's fault. He told me to get it. Damn, boat ramp steep. Look at that, y'all see it? I don't know if you can see it. That sound gun's moving pretty damn quick. Moving pretty good, eh? Moving pretty good, real good. So hopefully we'll be all right. As long as it stays that way, I got an app on my phone, I can watch the river, see if it drops or goes down. Any, well, I think we're gonna, Get back on the bikes. We decided to pull them out today. We're probably gonna find us something to eat. Catch y'all back on the road. All right, guys. So we just checked the river out. It was up. I'm gonna like I said, I got an app on my phone right here that tells me if it rises or drops or you know kind of how fast it goes. And uh, I'm gonna keep a watch on that up till Friday about five o'clock. And uh. And all that so now i'm fixing to somebody just text me every time i video somebody texts me but now we're just gonna go look at this conference call see what that's about i figured we could talk about um where we're going to meet on a map and um first, first question you're talking about that um i, I got still handy up here Oh, it's my map. I got him. Well, you going to... Where'd he go? He disappeared again, Jake. Oh, uh, was you going... We're going to try to be at the river when the sun comes up Saturday. So, are we going to go Friday? Or are we going to go early, early Saturday? Well, we all we all to come up to the come up with the conclusion that if we try to go Friday, it's going to be too much. Okay. So what you asked me the other day about the riding situation? Yeah. That's kind of I figure that's kind of what this call is about too, is to figure out who all's going for sure. Okay. And I got a little, I got a little, it's going to be, let me see here. So eight people total? I said, I said it was nine earlier, didn't I? Um, it'll be nine if either Colby or Doyle goes. Yeah, possibly Doyle. Okay. Oh, or Colby. I, myself, and a couple of more people can go camp up under the bridge and hawk them Friday night. Right, okay. And Julie, me and Julie's already kind of halfway working on somebody to bring the rest of them Saturday morning and somebody to come meet Monday. That way... We got three vehicles to bring us back. Okay. That's why I'm looking at the more people we got to stay under the bridge Friday, the less people that has to come up Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just that the 
uh, the people that stay Friday night has to plan for for one more day. Right, and um, the vehicle to get up there, right? To stage the vehicle. You need to do no less than 11 miles a day. Okay. Right? Well, I mean, we need to do an average of 11 miles. So if we do, um, if we do like um, eight miles today, we need to pick up, you know, one day Just we need to pick up our pace the mile. next day. Yeah. Let's see, from according to this thing though, Jay, from Holcomb to the wildlife management place, that's 11.3 miles. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep. To the wildlife management place? What well, the boat ramp you was just looking at. Oh, but but that's from Holcomb. Or a Holcomb yes, Bridge. Yes, from Holcomb. Yeah. Yeah. To Mal Mason WMA boat boat ramp. Uh, yep. uh, Julie, I didn't hear you. What did you say that's from Holcomb the town or the bridge? The bridge. Okay. Huh. To the boat ramp. Well, I'm um, still not done making it, but it, right now it's saying, well, it's saying 10 miles, 10 and a, 10.3 before I added all these bins in. So that would make sense. So yeah. Yeah, that sandbar is starting to look a lot better all of a sudden. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's 11.03 right there before I start, you know, getting real fancy with these curves and all. Yeah, and my paperwork says 11.3. Okay, well, I'm 11.1 .1 at the moment. So, all right. I think the wildlife management area starts right there, doesn't it? Do what, G? Right there on the map. Is that the wildlife place? Yep. Like his ending point is just past what it looks like to be mm -hmm. something. Yeah, that's the boat ramp right there. That's the boat ramp. So if I were to move this to here, that's 11, so 11 miles to yep. the sandbar next to the boat ramp. I, I'll say that's the goal for the first night anyway. Yeah. You guys agree with that? Yeah, that's... And that's just a little bit of how I plan for a multi-day, multi-person kayaking trip. Like I said, there's eight of us. We all need to be on the same page of where we was going, where we was meeting at, what mileage was planning on doing every day. You know, you got resources. You got computers. You got libraries. You got your phone. That's the number one thing. You got your phone. Look on your phone and find out where you're going, where some stops at, where you can stop and take a break if you need a break or something like that. You've got resources. You've got resources. And my favorite thing to do, a lot of people don't, don't do they always just mark it on their phone i i normally I, I i do me some printouts and i mark it mark down kind of what where i want to be by a certain time sometimes that gets delayed sometimes you know you're ahead of schedule you just kind of plan plan as you go when it comes to that but i always have you some type of printout so you'll know you'll know what's going on for somebody to have with them but I got my bags packed. We're just about ready to go. Y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Get my uh, get my new videos when they come out. We'll catch y'all later. Get you some.